Hello and welcome back to Gapey's Garden. Today we are going to take a look at the volunteers we have this season. So I do one of these videos at the end of every year and every year we have some different volunteers pop up. A lot of them I do pull out because they're just in the way from my other stuff that I'm trying to grow, but a lot of them I do leave in the ground and let grow. And I don't know if you could tell, but it just started raining, so I might have to cut this intro a little short. Uh, but let's take a look and see what we had grow in the garden this season. We have this squash here that volunteered next to the tomatoes, and I thought for sure it was a, a zucchini, but it has finally started to produce fruit. And it turns out it is a patty pan squash, which is really surprising because I have no idea when the last time I grew patty pan was. It's been several, several years, so I was pretty surprised, but we'll take it. I started sweet alyssum probably three years ago from seed and it volunteers every year in this bed that's along the chicken run and it's actually pretty welcome. The chickens do nibble on it a little bit but that's kind of what it's there for um, but I, I don't mind it coming back at all. I do clear it out of places that I don't want it to grow in. Like you can see here I've got the micro dwarf tomatoes I did pull it out around there so that it wouldn't crowd out those tomatoes. I've also got some volunteer buckwheat that has come up. I think I started this from seed probably five years ago and it just volunteers here and there. It is a really good nitrogen fixer and it's also a good pollinator attractor. So um, that's what I basically use it for. And we have our gleam salmon nasturtium that volunteers here in our our raspberry patch. I planted that in here probably four years ago and it just keeps coming back every year because it does reseed quite easily. You can see some seeds there so they drop and come back again next year. Borage is another one that reseeds very very easily. So this area back here in the back corner of the backyard I don't really do much with but I do try to pull out some of the weeds that I don't want in here. But one thing I do let grow wild is this borage which the bees really love. Both bumblebees and honeybees really enjoy it. I have this red amaranth that is popping up all over the place. I've got it in most of my raised beds as well as the in-ground beds and I do pull some of it out but a lot of it I just let kind of grow because it's so pretty. Surprisingly that red amaranth even volunteers in the chicken run and some Somehow the chickens have not really bothered it, which is really surprising. Right, Nina? Right now they're out in their free range time. Over here in our cherry tomato bed, we have a volunteer from last year. This is a current tomato called Spoon. They are super tiny little tomatoes and this was not my favorite because they are a pain in the butt to harvest and a lot of them seem to drop and obviously volunteer <laughs> next year. Um, so I don't plan on growing that on purpose again. Um, hopefully we don't get any more volunteers come up next season. They are kind of cute though. I had two micro dwarfs come up here in the bed that the tangerine tiger peppers are in here. I grew micro dwarfs in this bed last year so these must have come up from that um, but we are starting to get late blight on all of our tomatoes and you can see this tomato here is is kind of dark colored and I'm also seeing dark leaves and stems here that's a sign of late blight so none of these tomatoes are going to be um, edible see that dark spot on there. Um, so unfortunately we didn't get any ripe tomatoes off of these two volunteers. Now our last cherry tomato that volunteered conveniently came up <laughs> inside this cage I have here that I put in for our cucumbers and melons and it came up right in the middle which is pretty nice and I'm surprisingly not seeing any signs of late blight on this tomato yet and we do have a few ripe ones in here. I think this might be the Matt's wild cherry. I think that's the only one I can think of that I grew that had these small red cherry tomatoes. Um, but this is a, a really tasty variety and I'm kind of happy that this one volunteered. 
Now over here in our herb bed, we have a red vein sorrel. I grew this in this bed last year, but it came up over there and then died and somehow it came up over here. Taking one last look around the garden to see if I could find any more volunteers and I came across this. So this is Delfino cilantro that I started from seed in the spring and it went to seed and it's starting to pop up all over this bed where I had it growing. It loves the cooler weather. It's not very good with hot weather. It bolted pretty quickly this spring, but it's doing pretty good here this fall. Well, other than weeds, I don't think I have any more volunteers in the garden this season. I hope you enjoyed the, the little tour. And if you have any volunteers pop up that you didn't pull out in your garden, let me know what they were. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.